Quarter top. Stay tuned for more. Part two. I was gonna do it all in one video, but I believe I'm just gonna put this video out on removing it, and then once I paint the car and get the uh, canvas put on, I'm gonna do a part two on installing it back. So stay tuned. Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I'm about to finally get to this top here. As you can remember on my past videos when I first started working on this car here, I had tucked the top off and found some rust here and repaired it. So I got everything back together, basically. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this top, then I'll be winding down to the end. But I'm gonna take you outside and show you the uh, shell. I gotta repair some spots on the shell. This was part of the old vinyl here. I already took it off. But let me show you the spots I gotta repair. It's cracked in the shell. It's a crack right here in the fiberglass. Go ahead and repair that. It's also one here. Then it's another one. On this side, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and repair that. I'm just gonna use some Mundo fiberglass resin and some fiberglass mat. I still gotta take these pieces here apart. It look like it's a little crack here. Up in here. I ain't for sure yet. But let me go ahead and get set up and I'll cut you back on. I also got to replace this screw. When I was removing this shell here, the screw was rusted out. Where the bolt was rusted out on the screw, so it broke. So I'm going to just use this one here. I'm going to shave the head off and just put it up in there and five glasses around it. It's going to be like this here on this side. This will hold the shell to the car. I went on and brought the shell on the inside. It started getting kind of cold outside. Got me a little heater there. But I got the screw grinded down. Man, it should be flat enough because it actually need to be flat to sit up in there the right way so it'll sit up. I'm gonna show you where it go. See it screw up into here like that. But it actually need to be flat. That's why I grinded it down. I might put some little JB Well on it before I go ahead and fiberglass it just to hold it in place. I got the screw in. I got it clamped down because I put some JB Well where that plastic was broke. Plus I done fiberglass the back side of this here. Also did the back side of that and on this side. I'm taking this vinyl off this quarter glass trim now. Alright then tuck this one off. That's how it's gonna look once you take it off. And come off real easy. I had to be careful with it because I don't want to crack crack this even more than what it is now. But first you're gonna have to take this trim here off. All you gotta do is get three little bolts to take off. 
then it come right off. Then you gotta take this little plastic piping off. It got staples on the bottom side. Then it got like three on this side. But that's it there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off. Then I'm gonna wait for this fiberglass to dry. Then I'll be ready to uh, start putting my material on. I'm gonna go with a great canvas. Just a few things you might need when you start doing your fabric. Like I said, I'm gonna be using some gray canvas. My canvas, it don't have no fabric on the back of it. Something that give it a little cushion that'll hide some spots like this say fence. It'll hide these little rivets here. See my canvas is just straight canvas. But I went and got this and a fabric here. Walmart, I got two yards. I'm gonna actually need three yards for the shell itself, so I'm gonna go back and get some more. But this is what I was talking about, like on this vinyl here. See how I got this little here, this little fabric here on the back of it. So I'm gonna put this down first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the canvas on top of it. But I'm gonna use this glue here, this wheel wood, land out top and trim, solvent type spray grade glue. You don't want to use this glue here that's in a can. You don't want it to be coming up on you. I would spray it. You could spray this, but I'm a, I'm a brush man's on. So I got some chip brushes. Or you could use some foam brushes. Get you some wax paper. This wax paper will keep it from sticking on spots that you don't put the glue on. The glue don't stick to the wax paper, so it'll help you out. Get you some scissors, razor blade. I'm going to go ahead and do these uh, quarter glass pieces first. Then I'm going to do the shell itself. First, you want to go ahead and cut you out the pieces for the quarter glass. Make sure it's the right size. Then you want to get your glue. I poured it in a mixing cup. Got my chip brush. And you just want to coat both pieces. When the surface dry to the touch, it's ready to be bonded. Because this glue here is stick to itself. Alright, I got both pieces bonded together. As you can see. Just the back side. Now what I'm finna do, I'm finna get my piece and lay it upside down. Then I'm gonna take me a pencil or a marker, anything, and I'm gonna trace out around it. Let me go ahead and do that. Now what I'm finna do, I'm finna put some more glue in my cup. Then I'ma just coat inside of the red marking. Then I'ma coat just on the top of this here. For now. Same process. The reason why I'm using my back side of my hand because I ain't got no glue. I don't know, I got glue right here and the glue stick to itself, so it's gonna stick. But the same process, you wanna make sure both surfaces dry. Then you wanna go ahead and just lay this on top of the markings. Ain't gotta be perfect. There. 
You can just turn it over and smooth it on out. You want to try to push a little bit of this canvas material, push it up in here. Because when you start trying to stretch it, it ain't going to make this curve here. Canvas ain't, it don't stretch like vinyl, so it's best for you to try to have a little gear up in here before you start stretching it out tight. Yeah, I gotta kinda push it up so I can make these curves here. If it was vinyl, it wouldn't be no problem because I could heat it up and stretch it like that. But this canvas is a different story. So what you want to do now, you want to make sure you got enough to overlap this edge all the way around. Then go ahead and cut you out an opening. I say round about from here would be good enough to overlap. Go ahead and cut that out. Once you get that cut out, you want to go ahead and make you some stress cuts. Like on the corners. Stress cut here, here, and here. Once you get your stress cuts cut, you want to go ahead and coat up in here. I already did the back side up when I did the, uh, the top of it. So you just put some glue on this part here. Same thing with this. Once it's dry to the touch, you want to go ahead and fold your pieces over and overlap it. Same way I did with the inner, you want to do with the outer. Make you some stress cuts. Once it's dry, you want to go ahead and fold your ends over. You want to make sure it's pressed down real good around the overlap. If this was vinyl, I could stretch this over real good but since it's being canvas it's not stretchable vinyl you can heat up and stretch it but this is it here i'm gonna go ahead and do the shell itself now just wanted to show you this here i had to make two replacement pieces for this here because this is supposed to come all the way around and stop right here but this little area here was cracked up when I took the top off and then had just fell off. So I had to make two more pieces on this side and on this side here. Only thing this here for is for when you put the, the little plastic piping on, you staple it to this here. It's just something you can put the staples in. It's also go along the bottom of the shell also. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this fiberglass shell. I had to go back and get three yards because then two yards weren't long enough to go from one end to the other end. But it's best to go ahead and glue this down to your fabric. If your fabric, like mine, don't have no backing on it, it's best to go ahead and glue it down and then get it sewed up because it's a lot easier. You ain't gotta go through this step here. But I'm finna go ahead and wrap this, then I cut you back on. It's the same step as I showed you on my uh, quarter glass trim. What you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and tape this little outer edge here off, cause you got a rivet here you gonna have to uh, put in, and one here, then you got some along the top. So you wanna go ahead and tape this off because you don't wanna glue this down yet. You wanna glue this down once you put the shell on the car. You can use any kind of tape. You can use masking tape. I just grabbed this tape because it's the first I've seen.
all right as you can see I about got it on this bottom piece I had to cut make it a separate piece because I had a fruit wrinkles in it and I don't want them wrinkles in it so I just cut it right here piece it together and down here what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim out around the edges like I did this here so I can overlap it just trim out all that then I overlap it on the inside let me show you up here what I was talking about with the tape see well let me go ahead and do that I'll cut you back on the back side here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this back side down, overlap it. Then I'll be good to go. Then I'll be ready to go and put the canvas on. Alright, this is my material here. I got the seam sewed up. It's actually two pieces. It's this back piece and this piece here. Let me go ahead and put it over it so you can see how it's gonna look. I just threw the canvas over the shell. You can see the seam, the stitch. Hopefully I can get all these wrinkles out. If it was vinyl, it wouldn't be no problem, but canvas, it's hard to stretch. I'm just gonna turn this over and start putting down some glue. pretty much dry but here's where the wax paper come in in the areas that you don't want to stick you need to put some wax paper on it because I'm doing this by myself so ain't no way I'm able to do all of it at one time so I put some wax paper on half of it so this area here don't stick I still gotta drape some down this side here All right, I got it wrapped. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tape now, so I can go ahead and start painting this. It's like a little white plastic piping go along the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it gray. Go ahead and remove this tape first, though. About to go ahead and clean these pieces up so I can sand them down. Go ahead and paint them. It's four pieces in all two to go around the quarter glass. This this piece here go around the top. I done cleaned it up. This go around the shell, the bottom of the shell. It's like a plastic piping. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, then I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint them pieces gray. I'm just gonna use some gray spray paint. Indoor, outdoor for plastic. Just got through painting my plastic piping. I'm gonna go ahead and install this one here on the quarter glass. Goes like this. This go on the bottom. Then this piece here goes up. And this trim sit on top of that piece. You just gotta staple the bottom. Then these little three staples here. I'm just going to use these staples here and my staple gun. I 
got the quarter glass trim put back together. I'm gonna go ahead and put this piping on the bottom of this shell. Then I'll be good to go. trim the rest of my canvas off round about right here I'm also gonna go ahead and glue these pieces here back on with some contact cement they go right here both sides got both pieces installed now I'm gonna go ahead and Put the top on the car, I got everything set up. I went on and put this blanket up here so I won't scratch nothing up. Let me show you why I didn't glue all the uh, fabric on at one time. Because you got these rivets here, you have to put in all along the top. Then you got two down here. But I'm gonna have to put screws in this here because the rivets I got, it ain't gonna be long enough to go all the way through there. So I went to Lowe's and got these screws here. These here work. Plus I got six screws. I gotta put along the, the back side on the inside of it. Got one there, one here, one there, there. Down there. Let me go ahead and do that. Then I'll cut you back on. As you can see, I got my screws in. And on this top, I just put in new rivets. I'm just going to seal up the rest of the holes. Now I can go ahead and glue my fabric on now. The rest of it on. I also got to uh, tighten this down on both sides in the trunk. Got it prepped up. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my glue down. All right, got that done. Got an overlap on the inside. It's some trim go here that'll cover that up. And a piece go at the top there. But I gotta go ahead and cut this on out along that line now. Then I'll be ready to do the canvas. Trimmed it on up. Also went on and trimmed this here. Just enough so I can overlap on the inside. Also made some relief cuts. I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue down now. Let's go ahead and trim this here. Then I'll be ready to put the trim back on. Done trimmed up the canvas. Now I'm finna go ahead and put this trim piece on. I got the other one over there. I just gotta snap it down. Plus I got this piece here. It go on the front, the front of the trim. Let me go ahead and take care of that. Just finished putting the trim on. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two pieces on. There's a piece go right here and a piece go at the top. I got it over here. I just put some black spray paint on it. Kind of freshen it on up a bit. Got them two pieces on. Only thing left is putting this quarter glass trim on. 
those right here got two brackets one bracket at the top one on the side then it got the two fasteners that you bolt in from the inside then the only thing left I have is putting the emblems on I got some aftermarket emblems they ain't original but they look better than the old ones if you need some I got some on my website Stop.